Yo, what is up you guys? It's been a minute. I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I'm back at it now that I've hit 275. Um, today we're going to be talking about Star Forcing. Alright, you love it, you hate it, you gotta do it anyways because uh, if you're at Reboot, there's only one way to do it by yourself. If you're at a Reg server, you could buy your own gear, and I've done that with a lot of my gear to be honest. Um, I made this, Speedwater Monocle to 22 recently, and I bought this. Um, I buy a lot of my stuff 22 star in a reg server because it's just convenient that way. But anyways, you're probably confused on what the fuck star forcing is. Star forcing is, I mean, you probably tried it, right? It's just star. It's just tapping on an equipment and using your meso to upgrade that equipment. And you gain further stats at 15 star. From 15 to 22, you gain a significant amount of attack or magic attack, whichever you prefer. You get both regardless. And it costs a lot of meso, and it's usually... it ends in, like, a disaster, right? You boom an item, and it's just... you cry, and you... you just can't do anything about it, and there's no way to progress. It's very linear, as they say. So, first off, as a disclaimer, I am, of course, on a regular server, which means we have B-Pots, and we can buy... we can trade gear, so you can just kind of pass around godly gear. You don't really have to make everything self-made in Reboot, right? I don't have to, like... Buy my own. I have to. I can buy my own gear. I have the option too, um, which is something that I very much appreciate. But yeah, I, I don't play in re reboot, so this is completely like take it with a grain of salt if you play in reboot. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, first things first is if you are considering um, star forcing an item, right? Do you want to keep this item for a long time, right? Is this item worthwhile? For example. Um, your arcane weapon, right? You typically want to star force this to 17 star because you eventually will liberate, and if you don't know what liberating is, it just means that you're going to defeat Black Mage like eight times and just get a completely different weapon that comes 22 star. So you don't really have to worry about 22 starring an item um, if it's your weapon because typically you will get a Genesis weapon. So for this, you can just kind of leave it at 17 star if you prefer. If you want extra damage and you have the extra meso and you've grinded a lot for the meso, whatever, just you can tap at 22, go for it, but it, you don't really have to. Because um, you get a Genesis weapon, and the Genesis weapon comes with 22 star, so you don't really have to worry about that. Um, other worthwhile items that are um, worth uh, tapping is, uh, you know, stuff that is best in slot. For example, Superior Golix Ring is pretty much best in slot out of the four rings. Um, you always want to tap this to 22 star. I have not done that yet, but um, it's not something that I really care about, honestly, but I would recommend doing it. Um, I mean, I have the mess with the tap it to 22 right now if I wanted to, but it's just not really something that's on my priority list. And also, consider that every time you um, want to star for something, make sure that the replacement is cheap, because, of course, if you've been there, um, star forcing gives you, you know, the boom, right? You Sometimes you boom something and you need to replace the item. Um, when you explode an item, you will get a trace of that item in your inventory and that item will just be kind of be like an invisible item and then you get replacements you have to buy or find another replacement and you switch it up and then it goes back to 12 star so if you boom that 17 star it will go back to 12 star if you boom that 21 star it will go back to 12 star so that is just something to consider you always start back at 12 star you keep the stats you keep the flame you keep the potential the B pot, whatever, but you just go back to 12 star. Just remember that. When you are star forcing, always assume that you are gonna boom and perhaps buy like a replacement, at least one replacement or two, if you can afford it. If the replacement is cheap or if it's easily accessible in reboot, for example, definitely have um, replacements in your inventory. Um, the reason why I tapped this to 22 star the other day is because I realized that the sweet water monocles in Vera auction house are like, I don't know, like 100 to 200 mil, and that's really not a lot. Um, I know, for example, uh, Superior Golix rings are um, very cheap, they're like 100 mil each in the auction house, and it's a lot cheaper than stuff like um, Superior Golix pendant, which is like 700 mil for a replacement. So if I boom my pendant, I have to start over, and not only that, do I have to start over, I have to buy a 700 um, meso uh, pendant to replace it, it's just like, what the hell? Like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna tap something that's so risky, right? I'd rather tap something that's worth, like, cheaper. The replacement is, like, way cheaper, so, like, consider, like, if you're gonna tap something, make sure that the replacements are very cheap, 
more accessible to get. I know in Reboot you can get some things like infinitely, um, so or like they're a lot easier to get. For example, like uh, CRA gear, you can tap these to 22 star very easily. So just consider that replacements are very much necessary to because just assume that you're gonna you're gonna boom, right? Life is all about failure. It's all about triumph and failure. So if you're gonna boom something, just assume you're gonna boom. Um, because you probably will. Like, statistically, you will boom your item. It will explode and you will have to replace it. And my last advice is probably more catered towards regular server. In my opinion, when you see an item sold at 22 star, um, they usually overprice it. You can actually tap your own items to 22 star like, pretty easily. Like, I've actually tapped a few things in like only a couple bill. Like, if you find a 22 star item in the auction house, it's probably going to be like 20 bill or more, like 20 to 30 bill. But in reality, you can actually tap your gear to 22 star with maybe like, if you get lucky, maybe like 5 bill around that range. You don't really have to buy completed gear, you can just make it yourself. You just have to have the meso to do that. And that is something to consider, because you save a lot of money from just you know making your own stuff. But you gotta make sure that the potential is already correct. Like, my potentials are not that great. This is 12 and then 9% luck, and then it's just random intelligence. It's not really good. You want to buy gear that has potential on it already that is perfect, like 3-line, and just kind of, you know, roll with it. So, um, yeah, um, if you are willing to, you know, spend uh, more risk or just kind of have a risky attitude, just go for the tapping yourself route because it's cheaper than actually buying gear that people overprice because they're obviously trying to merge off of you if you are playing a regular server and you do not want to go down that route and get scams or not scams but like swindled if you will uh, people are just trying to uh, profit off each other that's just real life dude maple store you get scams real life you get scammed they try to get your money that's just how it works so yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Hopefully we can all help each other out as a community. And um, yeah, good luck star forcing. Um, 22 star is honestly pretty free. Um, I didn't really talk about the events. Um, sometimes there are 5, 10, and 15 events. It's, that is when you um, will tap during a certain events and you will pass the 5, 10, and 15 mark uh, instantly, 100% chance. And just be on the lookout for those kind of events. There's also like 30% off events. And they are getting um, changing a lot of Star Force stuff in the future, so if you want to wait a little bit, um, Star Forcing will get a little bit easier as KMS kind of um, gets merged into GMS. Like, we're, uh, currently, we're trying to replace, or not replace, we're trying to like assimilate GMS back to what KMS was originally intended to be, because GMS is way different than KMS, so it's just like, yeah. But yeah, that's just a whole different tangent, but yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, comment below, leave a like, like, comment for the algorithm, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.